Hey everyone, it's Twist 65 again, and today we're building a German anti-tank gun, specifically the Pac-40, L46, and 135th scale. In World War II, this German anti-tank gun was introduced in 1942, just in time for the invasion of Russia. It saw use in all German theaters of war and was quite effective at stopping Allied armor. This particular kit, number 35047 from Tamiya, was originally tooled in 1975. It's not really that bad, but the figures do leave a little bit to be desired. Assembly started with the gun itself. For a simple looking piece of equipment, there are quite a few small parts. I kept the parts separated into large assemblies to keep painting issues to a minimum. All assemblies started with a flat black primer coat, followed by panzer gray base coat, all applied with my airbrush. The box art has two schemes, mid-war and late-war. By late-war, most German armor and guns were being factory painted in dark yellow and camouflaged while in the field. So I used a top coat of Vallejo's Model Air number 71025, dark yellow. Every bit of the gun except for the tools and tires got painted. For camouflage, I used an old brush and stippled blotches of armor brown and dark green all over the field gun, the wheels, the carriage, and the front plate armor. I did not camo the gun itself. Work on the diorama base started with a simple block of wood. These edge bits of wood can be found at your local craft store in various sizes and shapes. I like the way they look, and if I can make the diorama scene fit on the base, I try to use them whenever possible. A sharp hobby knife makes short work of cutting all the foam. A balled up bit of tin foil can be used to add some texture to the ground foam. Layers of scrap foam were used to build up the ground and the dugout walls. White PVA glue was used to attach everything to the base. A little bit of sculpt the mold helped to tie all the chunks of foam into a more natural looking form and allowed me to get somewhat squared edges on the outside of the base. All the paint for the base work was your basic browns and ochre colors you can get from your craft store. It's kind of hard to beat the large quantity of paint you can purchase for a dollar, especially when coverage, not quality, is what you're looking for. I roughly laid out where I wanted the ground cover to be, most in the top of the dugout into the hillside, keeping the flat space for the gun sparse with grass and trying to make it look more muddy. The gun's crew didn't have that many parts to glue together, and I did minimal putty work before moving on to a flat black primer coat. I tried a couple variations on the skin undercoat to try and affect the skin tone, but really I didn't see much difference in the end. Here you can see the start on the eyes. Oversized so that I can come back in with the final skin color and shape them to fit the model's head. The crew's trousers were base coated in field gray and the jackets in Russian green. A little brown wash and some light dry brushing before picking out the webbing details and all the field accessories that the German infantry carried with them. Lastly, I used some pastels to add dirt and grime to the Pack 40, as well as some light chipping with a gunmetal color. At the last minute, I realized the barrel had been fixed into the full recoil location. 
So I grabbed the cotton ball and roughly shaped it and painted it with some dark brown black paint. It was fixed to the end of the muzzle with a small amount of PVA glue. At this point, I called the diorama finished and here are my results. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please consider a like and subscribe as it really helps the channel grow.